everybody, it's me, so Filigree 3 and welcome back. So for today's video, I want to ask you to please excuse my voice. I'm still getting over being sick, so it's a little bit raspy, but we're going with it because today is the What I Got For Christmas 2018 video. So this is only art related things. So I've tried to cut out anything that I can't relate back to art in an incredibly convoluted manner. So starting us right off, I got two new pens. So these are the Sparkle Pop glitter pens and this one is orange but it reflects green in the light and this one is silver and it reflects silver in the light. I have the pink, blue, and purple ones already and I was really happy to get these as part of my set. So the next thing I'm going to show you are these Copic sketch markers. I got five of them and the colors are BG99, RV63, E23, R35, and BG09. Next thing I'm going to show you are these two mild liners. So these are the Zebra Double Ended Mild Ink Highlighters. It's the yellow one and the teal one. As you can see in the background here, I've already got a couple of them in there. And then in here also... are the... Uh, one of these Papermate Flare Pens. Got a whole bunch of them, they were a tropical set, and please enjoy the footage of me testing them out. The next item I received was a set of medium Posca pens, which I've wanted forever because there was that whole hype last year about people like just using Posca pens on Instagram and then I've seen Doodle Date use them. If you're not following Doodle Date, you should. If you're, if you're following me and not Doodle Date, uh, welcome to YouTube. But uh, yeah, they're uh, acrylic paint pens and it was really fun to like start them all because they're paint pens so they do a clickety click and then you have to like depress the tip onto the paper and then like try it out. It's cool. So it's just the basic set of eight colors and I'm really excited to like incorporate these into my mixed media pieces. Ooh. I received the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor set of 238 colors to try on four swatch cards. Uh, as you might have seen in my previous videos, I have the other set, the single card, and I could never justify getting the fancier, more colors one and I'm so excited you guys. So. Get ready for a video coming soon of me swatching all these, because that's what you do. Uh, so that should be good. Next item, I received some film for my Instax camera. Um, it's just like the blank white border film, which I actually haven't used yet. I When I got my camera, I bought some of the pastel stuff, and I'm really excited to use this. I also received a set of sticky notes. Uh, they're Mickey Mouse and Friends, and I've actually been keeping my orange bird ones inside of here. But it's... I believe 16 different notepads. Do I have them written down? Yeah, it's 16. It'd be cool if it was in frame. Uh, 16 different sticky notepads, and it comes in this cute little book. It makes me feel like I'm gonna sing like a Christmas carol. It's a vibe. I also got the iridescent colors of Fine Tech Paints. This is their new set. New set. It's before the name change, but actually, I haven't opened these yet, so I'm pretty excited. You guys, they're so pretty! We're gonna have to do a video like testing those because you guys liked the other fine tech video I did so I'm gonna definitely do that. Let me know in the comments like what specifically you want to see videos on the most and whatever gets voted the most I'll do first. Next item is this Faber-Castell collapsible water cup for watercoloring on the go, because when I have to watercolor for school, I literally carry around like three glass jars and fill it with brushes and it goes clinkety-clank in my backpack. It's probably not safe. Don't try that at home, kids. Uh, next item, I got the Fabriano watercolor postcards. Uh, these are the same ones that I used in my other videos, but I actually have my other set right here. Uh, as you can see, I've used like all of them and this one's thick. So I'm excited to 
do some more watercoloring on the go. I like to bring these whenever I go on a trip or whatever and try and do at least a sketch while I'm there so then I can finish it and then I could mail it to myself, which I've only done once because it's scary because it's your mailing original art, but I digress. The next item I got came in this cute little box, which is not affiliated with what's inside of the box, but you feel? I got some stuff from Jacqueline Deleon. And so for those of you who don't know, Jacqueline is one of my favorite artists, but I was lucky enough to receive her chrysanthemum pin, which is so cute, uh, with now with a new and improved gold like edging to it, because before it was black, and her hand pin, which is so cute. I, I waited to open them for you guys and like put them on my jacket. Also, I got her new business card, which is just like a little baby secret print. Oh, ho -ho. yeah, also there's, there's her information if you'd like to follow her work. But yeah, I love Jacqueline's stuff and I was hoping to get some cash for Christmas so I could buy some more of it. But I'm gonna be a responsible young adult and wait until I need to buy supplies for the spring semester. So the next item is this hand glazed porcelain flower palette. This is the Jack Richeson one. I don't, I don't know who that is. You go Jack. But uh, hand glazed white porcelain products are great for mixing inks and dyes and will not stain. When painting on porcelain dolls or dishware, these palettes offer the advantage of knowing what a color will look like on a similar surface. Yeah, I just wanted another watercolor palette because I really like my porcelain one. All right, we're gonna call these art related. So I got Dumbo. Uh, Dumbo is one of my favorite movies and it makes me really happy. And it's animation, it's art, but yeah. You wanna make me happy? Let's watch Dumbo together. I also happen to be wearing my Dumbo bracelet today, which uh, I also got for Christmas from my aunt, so thank you. But it's a, it says don't just fly, soar, and it's a Lillian and Company bracelet. So yeah. And then the other movie I got is Sing. Uh, I'm literally eight and a half years old, but I love this movie so much. It's so cute. I've watched it at least 30 times on Netflix, and I asked for this in preparation for the day that Netflix takes it down. I don't know of them doing that in the future, but it's gonna happen at some point. So now I own it, so I'm gonna watch this on repeat. It's gonna be great. I also got a whole bunch of stickers for my planner. So I got this holy guacamole set, these foil cacti, these foil foxes and some more cacti. So that's really cool. We love an adorable planner. And then my grandmother got me this journal that says make it happen, but it's just lined on the inside and it's like a pretty foil cover and on the back too. And she also sent me these pens. It's like a little set of three pens and they say, hello beautiful, happy thoughts, And yes, you can. I was holding that one upside down. That was that was my confusion. Then I was also lucky enough to receive from my aunt the Disney book. So this says it is a celebration of the world of Disney. But I remember I looked at this at the bookstore and I thought it was really cool for like drawing reference. I'll do a little flippity flip for you. That's not very informative, I know, but you get an idea at least. But yeah, it's got information about like a lot of different stuff, like the theme parks and the movies and the characters, which I think is really super neat. And then my final thing I have to run and go get because it's gigantic. So I lied, this is not my final thing. But uh, I got an art bin. So now that I don't live on campus anymore, um, this is going to come in handy when I have to take watercolors or whatever to class. Um, I'll even open it for you. We'll do a little tour. So the top part opens up so you can put like pens or whatever in here in like this little baby drawer. And then this part opens and does this. Ta-da, it's huge. Could I have backed the camera up a little? Probably, but it's got little slots and the dividers come out so you can like make it look how you want it to look for whatever you're carrying. I love her. She's gigantic and I think she'll be very useful. I also received these new background papers. So I have two of them and I'm gonna use them in my videos. I just haven't had a chance to slide them in yet. But they're purple and very pretty. 
Okay, now it's my final thing for real this time. I got The Art of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And so I don't talk about it a lot, but I love Star Wars. I think it's super cool and I'm really into like the world building and the character design and just the whole thing. Um, yeah. So this is like from Disney's The Art Of series. And so it's The Last Jedi and Rey's on the cover because she's cool. We'll do a little flippity flip. You ready? The dust jacket's a little slippery, but we can do it. It's a big hardcover book about all of like the concepting and the color studies and the cool stuff that went into making Star Wars and I'm really, really excited to read it. And that is it. So if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below telling me what you want to see me do a video slash review on and tell me what you got for Christmas. I wanna know, I'm interested, but you have to find a way to relate it back to art. That's the trick. So if you liked this, please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video and I will see you in the next one, all right? Bye!